right look my dear student today we are looking last video last video i mean sixth video of phenomenon chapter look here some natural phenomena what is that protection against earthquakes how we can protect ourselves from earthquake protection against earthquakes so here two types of zones are there earth containing two types of zones one is weak zone one is a strong zone so due to zone how we construct our houses how we construct our uh, buildings how we can protect from earthquakes some conditions or apply for that look here in seismic zones seismic zones all the buildings in this zone is designed in such a way that they can withstand tremors from the problems they should protect themselves like that in seismic zone we should construct the houses we should construct the houses it should protect from all the tremors of earthquake problems in this zone look here example use mud and timber is better than using heavy construction materials heavy construction purpose some materials are there better than heavy construction better than heavy construction materials you should use mud and timber best quality mud best quality timber you should use to construct house in seismic zones next point next what is that it is better to fix cupboard and shelves in walls all houses shelves cupboards are there are there but in seismic zones house in the houses of seismic zones cupboard and shelves is necessary needed protect from tremors protect from earthquake problems purpose shelves and cupboards are needed next be careful while hanging clocks and photo frames in your homes in seismic zone in seismic zones homes when photos are wall clocks hanging we should careful about them because earthquake problem is that while earthquake in seismic zone photos frames photo frames wall clocks will hang shakes all buildings should have fire fighting equipment fire extinguisher in seismic zone buildings seismic zone houses fire extinguisher is important fire extinguisher is needed and next due to tremor the fire many take places sorry may take places fire may take place due to earthquake precautions what are the precautions are there if you are at a home how to live look here if you are at a home oil earthquake time in earthquake time how you should protect take shelter under a table stay there till the shaking stops take shelter under a table under i mean under a table in earthquake time because protect from earthquake purpose and stay away from all trees heavy objects 
if you are outside stay away from all trees and heavy objects because they may fall upon you if sleeping on bed do not get up protect your head with pillow don't get up from your bed but protect your head from uh, with the help of pillow from the earthquake problems if you are out of doors outside find a clear spot away from buildings trees overhead power lines overhead power lines are there buildings there trees there you should not stay there hmm drop to the ground right if you are in car bus do not come out ask the drivers to drive slowly to clear spot ask tell the driver to go a clear spot next do not come out till the tremors stop till the earthquake problem stops you should not come out okay explain why charged body losses why charged body losses its charge if we touch it with our hand look when we touch a charged body it loses its charge due to the process of earthing due to the process of earthing because for example this this cap is charged body i touch with my hand what should happen it will lose it will lose its charge this charged body can lost charge why because it is in my hand my hand is body body leg down side look down of my leg i mean down of my leg is earth there so this charged body can lost its charge because its charge is passing through my hand through my body to earth earth is receiving earth is taking the charge of this charged body like that it will lost look there due to the process of earthing our body is a good conductor of electricity and look there it transfers the charges to the earth that is the process